your boy Corey here, aka Crasher, back with a new video, and ladies and gentlemen, we have a tasty one for you today. Because in this video, we are going to be reviewing Pokemon Journeys Episode 77, and it's titled A Super Electromagnetic Hyper Class Battle. Let's get into this. Now this episode really didn't waste any time in getting to the main point. We had Ash and Volkner have a brief reunion, and then as soon as it started, we got right into the battle, baby. And it was 3 versus 3, and there was a ton of electrifying action. We start things off with Luxray versus Lucario, and after a short exchange, we ended up having Gengar come in and managed to do some pretty decent damage to the Luxray to the point where Rotom Fan had to be swapped in and it was pretty much downhill from there when it came to Gengar. It got paralyzed, it got hexed, it was a one-hitter quitter, basically. So Pikachu ends up coming into the battle, and after nailing an Electroweb on the Rotom Fan, it seemed like that it was in a world of trouble because of an oncoming Thunderbolt, but Volkner actually switched Electivire in to absorb that Thunderbolt via Motor Drive. Nicely done. So because of the activation of Motor Drive, Electivire is now faster in battle, and it really showed. The speed, the power, and even though Pikachu is no slouch when it comes to either or, there was absolutely no way that it was able to win the power and speed matchup. So we ended up having yet another substitution where Pikachu swaps out and Lucario swaps in. So Electivire and Lucario go at it with a variety of moves, putting on a fantastic show, but it did not take long for Lucario to find itself in trouble as well with a paralysis via a thunder punch and we had yet another swap out into Rotom Fan. And of course Rotom Fan utilized the same strategy that took out Ash's Gengar taking advantage of the status condition being paralysis and utilizing Hex which dealt double damage because of the status condition. However that did not take down Lucario. In fact Lucario clapped back with a reversal attack and the lower HP that you have the higher the power of that move is going to be and it absolutely slammed Rotom Fan. It KO'd the rascal. We then had a Luxray come back into the mix and after an epic clash of moves between Luxray and Lucario being an Electric Terrain boosted Rising Voltage versus an Aura Sphere, we ended up having a double KO so it was was brought down to a one versus one matchup. Electivire and Pikachu. So Electivire and Pikachu exchange moves like Wild Charge and Iron Tails, and it was time for the big one. It was time for the Pikachinium Z move, and my god, it was so amazing to see Ash bring a piece of Alola into this hyper class world championships match i'll tell you what and of course volkner was waiting for something like that to happen and he thought that he would be able to absorb that move with electivire's motor drive because of it being able to have a straight up immunity to all electro type moves z moves or not but as it turns out that z move actually k owed the Electivire, if you can believe it. I was like, are you kidding me? What the hell did we just see there? So that resulted in Ash winning this hyperclass match against Volkner, and my god, it was absolutely amazing. It was electrifying, it was action-packed, and the result of this victory brought Ash's ranking up to 64th in the Pokemon World Championships. Now, the episode did not end there. It did not end with a simple GG from Volkner because we actually ended up seeing the return of the Sinnoh champion Cynthia in Pokemon Journeys. That's right. We had ourselves Cynthia actually watch that match go down. Same with B, same with Raihan, and same with Champion Leon. And that right there gets me hella pumped up because I cannot wait to see what type of amazing matches we are going to be looking forward to in the hyper class matches in the Pokemon World Championships, but also in the Master Class as well. I straight up cannot wait. And we're here at Sinnoh Region. <laughs> oh, here we go! Here we go. 
Ashen Volkner. And the battle is starting already, baby. We got the countdown. Who is he sending out? Lucario. Luxray. Oh my god. Luxray, dude. Oh, we're starting out big already. Satoshi's got a few tricks of his own, such as the Z-Ring. And now we got Gengar coming. Oh, this is what I've been waiting to see. Psycho Kinesis. So he's still a psychic? He didn't forget that in favor of Dazzling Cream? Nightshade? Oh, nice hit right there. And of course, Lux right now has to withdraw. Oh yeah, we got Rotom Fan. We got a bit of an aerial battle going on. I love it. Now we got Ice Punch here. That's going to deal super effective damage. Thunder Wave? Uh-oh, he missed the Ice Punch, but did not miss that Thunder Wave. Yet Gengar still stands. Let's go, baby. No! It stands and it falls! No! Now we got Thunderbolts, but of course, now we got a return happening. And now we got Electivire coming out. Is it soaking up that Thunderbolt there? So Volkner pulled, like, a freaking, like, pro game remove right there. Electivire is spinning and knocking back those freaking Aura Spheres. Nicely done. Lucario is standing strong and not dodging that move. He got hit with it. Uh-oh. Did he get paralyzed? Yes, he did. Re another return. And now we got Rotom coming back out. He was evil. Oh, I see what he's doing. Hex is going to double in power because of the paralysis. Lucario's not looking good. It can barely move. Reversal. Right up. Boom. What a hit. And Rotom Fan gets sent flying. Rotom Fan has been knocked out. Wait a second. Lucario. Right up close. Right on the head! Lucario and Luxray both go down! It's come down to this the last round, man. So another Iron Tail versus Iron Tail. Oh! But that one connected. Electivire got hit right on the head. Oh! Are they doing the thing already? Here we go, baby! Ash Cat Pikachu is in effect. Now we got the Z move. The Pikachu Indium Z is coming. Here we go, baby! Channeling the spirit of Champion Ash, channeling the spirit of Alola, right into this battle. Pikachu, 10 million volts! Let's do this! Let's go! Is the ability gonna save it? It's still standing! What? No, it, it felt that! It went down! Is that it? It is! Ash did it! The Champion of Sinnoh is taking part in the champ Master Class. Cynthia? Oh my god! Cynthia! B! B's here! And we got Rhyhon too! And the best in the world champion Leon! Oh. My. God. Alright, so now it is time for my personal thoughts and rating of this episode. So I'm going to rate this episode a solid 9.5 out of 10. The episode through and through was absolutely amazing. They didn't really waste any time either at the beginning. They pretty much went right straight into the action after a brief reunion of Ash and Volkner. Now I do have a couple of minor nitpicks about this episode, and it doesn't really take away from how amazing this episode was, but I do feel like that these need to be stated regardless. Now, we all know that Ash's Lucario is like the dawn when it comes to Ash's team in Pokemon Journeys, but here is what I have an issue with, all right? I have nothing against Lucario. Lucario is absolutely amazing, but I need to say this about Ash's Gengar, you know what I'm saying? Like, it lost to one single move, albeit it did end up being paralyzed as well, but it lost to one move being Hex. Whereas Lucario, on the other hand, and keep in mind, Lucario is not exactly known for being a bulky Pokemon, it was able to take a variety of moves, a variety of moves, okay? And it somehow was able to withstand all of that until the very end where it resulted in a double KO of itself and Luxray. So I felt like that there was a little bit too much emphasis on Lucario as opposed to the likes of Gengar and even Pikachu where those two Pokemon felt like jobbers in comparison to Lucario. You know what I mean? And then we get into the finale of this match where we had ourselves Electivire going down to an electric Z-move. 
Now, if you guys are familiar with mechanics like abilities and Z moves, then you would understand that Motor Drive would have absorbed that electric type Z move. So how it went down to that electric type Z move doesn't really make a lot of sense. I mean, I know we're talking about anime logic here, but come on, there's got to be some form of connection between game logic and anime logic. But with all that being said, to be 100% fair here, it could have been the impact itself from the Z-Move that did Electivire in, and it wouldn't be too much of a stretch to have that be the reason why it went down, and it also wouldn't be the first time that we've seen Ash's Pikachu pull out the impossible here. I mean, take a look at what happened when it battled Brock's Onyx, where Brock's Onyx actually was affected by a Thunder attack, even though it's a ground type, and same with that trainer's Marowak being a pure ground type, was also affected and actually KO'd by an electric attack from Pikachu. So, it wouldn't be the first time that we've seen anime logic get completely twisted and have things like that take place. But those are just kind of my thoughts and mini rant about this episode. What did you guys think about this episode on a scale of 1 to 10? What are your guys' thoughts overall about this episode? You know your boy loves to hear you guys out. So smash it up in the comments down below. I cannot wait to hear you guys out on what it is you have to say about episode 77. And ladies and gentlemen, with all that being said, that's going to be a wrap up here for this video. So I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, and most importantly guys, smash it up in the comments down below. Because I love, love, love hearing from you guys. Always have, always will, then we're going to change, baby. You can believe that. Woo! So thank you guys again for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day or night, depending on your time zone. And as always, your boy will see you guys in the next one.